All right, so I am ready to make some final decisions on the poster. I went through all the elements in the last video. So the one thing I needed to decide is which type I wanted to use. And I have these two different versions, right? I have one that's kind of multicolor and one that's simpler. And it's basically effects turned on and off. And what I think I like is I like the placement of the multicolor one but I like it without the inside. So what I can do is just try to change it or simply let me see. simply figure out um, which ones I want to keep and then just move it. So I'm going to use my auto select. There's a lot of layers going on. Select this layer. See what that is. Okay, and that's just the inside white. And then I'm just going to transform it taller. So to be safe, I'm going to make a duplicate of it. And this is where you really need to understand your layers because it can get really complicated. And that's why these files get so big. Come on, computer, keep up with me. Yeah, I think I want everything else. Okay, so I'm going to take that duplicate. I'm going to transform it. Command T. And then just stretch it up. like so, hit return, and then move that behind. And then turn off the one in front. All right. So how do you guys like that? And then this, I think I might dim it a little bit. There we go. It's a little softened. All right, so I have Melting Macabre. I have my spot illustration. It's got some dynamic coloring in there. It's got the addition of the um, CMYK dots, and I've got my secondary type. I've got it all. It is ready. So what do I do? Well, I hit File and save my Photoshop file, which is one and a half gigs because it's 14 by 18 inches at 350 pixels per inch. It's beautiful and large. So now what I need to do is separate out the different components that are required. I don't think I've done this already. Let me see. It's hard to remember last Wednesday. But you're going to put it into photo bucket. Well, that's saving. Come on, save for me. <laughs> Computer's really struggling. I can close uh, my digital, my assignment seven spot illustration one. But any corrections you made to your spot illustration for your poster, you can resubmit your spot illustration with those corrections. Like I like that, that CMYK separation dots on top of it. So I'll show you that. And then I can resubmit assignment seven and put it into photo bucket and make it a lot more interesting. Yeah, this computer is going to need a restart soon. But once this saves, I'll be able to show you that. High quality videos here of the computer going very slow. I have a lot open. There's a lot of grading and, and stuff I'm doing that I'm in the middle of, unfortunately. I'll quit my beloved iTunes. That should help. All right, so let's look at the things that you're submitting, right? Yes. All right. So 
once you have finished your poster and you like it, it's saved, you then want to save it as a JPEG. Now, because it's such a huge file with all of its layers, I'm going to save it to the desktop, Command D. Make sure your name's part of your file name. This is what we always do. This is your assignment eight poster layout. And you're going to save it as a JPEG. Is a PNG good? You can do a PNG, but it's going to be too big to put in the photo bucket. So, so if you do a, a JPEG, you are able to control because it needs to be smaller than five megabytes, its size. So please don't upload PNGs into PhotoBucket or you're just taking all of the, the memory from the class. There is no way to set the quality level of a PNG. And because you don't need it to support transparency, you're just wasting memory to save it as a PNG. Are you trying to log into PhotoBucket? You can just ignore that for now, unless it just keeps coming up. So as I'm saving it, you'll see the JPEG options. You want to have preview checked so you can see how large the file will be. And honestly, because these posters are such high resolution and so many layers are needed, I want you to take the quality low enough so that the preview shows you a, a size that's below five megabytes, just as we have in the past. That's why I don't want you to save them as a PNG. Because your PNG will be something like 50 or 60 megabytes, and I want you to have something that's less than five. So I'm gonna get as close as I can, but I don't wanna go over five megabytes. Now this is important because I'm also going to be saving my type this way. So quality of five. Now that is not a problem because this is just a JPEG that we put onto PhotoBucket to show. This is not a file we will go in and make corrections to and print off of. So the initial compression of it won't, won't leave any noticeable artifacts. But if we leave it at that low compression and then make changes and save it again, it will degrade our image quickly. So all we need is the image for the first time online. So you'll see that there, the poster layout. The next step, is I want to have just my color type. So what I do with my Photoshop file, I've already saved it as the full poster, and now, then I saved it as the combined JPEG. Now I turn off all the elements that aren't my type. So that's things like the outline on my creature. That's the CMYK separations on my spot illustration. I turn that off. I'm going to leave the borders on. I'm going to turn off the backgrounds and the spot illustration itself. Computer's going a little slow still, but it's saving my JPEG in the background. And the only layers I leave on are my color type layers. And what that does is it shows how I designed the type, where it was meant to go. So now I just have to turn off all these backgrounds. And then I will save that as a JPEG. Up, oh, and I missed the shadow underneath. So again, the quality checking is a big part of this. I'm going to use that auto select layer to help me find that shadow and kind of knowing what all your layers are doing. That's pretty important. There it is. All right. So this, I also save as a JPEG because it shows me all of your color text solutions. So I'm going to save that to the desktop as a JPEG. At that same low quality level, do 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 do. 
even if it's well below five, well below five megabytes, there's no reason to, to maximize it. This is just to see your process. So now I have those two things to submit. Now I want to turn off the coloring effects on that type, which is quite easy. I just go through all of them so that just the black and white type solution remains. But again, you have to really understand your different layers and just turn off the effects. I think I'll turn off this drop shadow as well so we can see it clearly. All right, so now I save that. Not as my color type solution, but as my black and white type solution. And this is how I would put it. I would put all of these into a portfolio to show the poster design. That's why I'm, I'm asking them for them as part of assignment eight in Photoshop so I can see your process of designing type, designing where it gets laid out in a poster composition. And the reason I don't have my spot illustration showing is this isn't the spot illustration assignment. This is the poster and type assignment. And then the last thing I submit is my type blocking sketch. So now I turn off all my type layers. And I just submit my sketch. And if I had multiple sketches, which I did, of different solutions, I choose the one that I think most matches you know, the solution I chose. So remember, I just sketched these out quickly. This is called uh, type blocking around my spot illustration. So I could control the kind of personality that had. And I'll just save that as a JPEG. And this will be my poster layout. I'll say my poster type sketch. But it's really a type blocking sketch. And it's called blocking because like deciding where actors should go in a play, you are deciding with that sketch where you're going to put these things, where you're going to arrange them on the stage of your poster. Save that as a JPEG, as a five. And actually, I would prefer it that yours don't have any background on them at all. But if they have like a gray background or something behind them, that's okay, as long as I can see the type clearly. But this is the process. These are the things you submit to photo bucket. Four things, I think it's our most, yeah, I think that's the most things that I'll have you submit for one assignment this semester. And the first thing should be your sketch. Remember they're all uh, fewer than five megabytes. So the first thing is your type blocking sketch. The next is the black and white type that you made in Illustrator, right? And created outlines, brought it into Photoshop. That was pretty involved for this project. And then you have your color solution, whether that was colored in Illustrator, whether it was colored in Photoshop. And then you have it combined with your spot illustration and your background to make your poster. Voila. Okay, let's put those into Photo Bucket, and then, you, then we're done. And we're going to...